The idea of a one or two person army has been around for decades. But it was a long time before you could digitally get in the streets with a friend and ask about a villain's personal relationship with your fists. Double Dragon, DJ Boy, POW, they were among the many that came out in the arcades or NES. But within the mix of them came bad dudes. Or to be formal, bad dudes versus Dragon Ninja. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dragon Ninja. And Ryu was supposed to become the Ninja Dragon. In other words, are flipped around and all, but was I playing the villain that whole time? In this Data East Brawler, you play as the titular heroes, whose names are Blade and Striker. Because the 80s. Together or solo, you take on a sea of ninja with various weapons, dogs, cinder cosplayers, whatever the hell this is, and more. All to save the kidnapped US president. Pretty straight plot that most consider it's lampooning American entertainment for its time. And if it's true, they were right too. Your attacks are standard punches and kicks that can go high or low, where the low kicks are great for disabling hazards thrown your way. You even have a bit of a hurricane kick which can help clear oncoming enemies from both sides. There's also weapons like a knife or longer range nunchucks. They come in handy for certain enemies and bosses, especially if you want to try and juggle them in the corner. If weapons are cutting it, you always got a power punch that you can charge before dealing good damage. This actually has a limited amount of music throughout it. When fighting Karnoff, you're treated to a mix of the standard boss theme with a sample from his solo game. But that's it. No rousing final boss song, the basic stages have the same tune, and the most exciting theme in the whole game is the one you hear in the vehicle stages. The arcade version's no different aside from obvious sound quality, but for me, it pops a bit more in 8-bit format. Just adjust your volume when it comes to your victory quote in this version because I'm bad. Dial it down, sir. So while the game has earned its cult following, for me, it's just here to have fun knocking out assassins and the like. While there are more energetic brawlers out there from its era, this is still one to check out however you can. Well, I got one more to go. Unintentionally, I was hung up on weapon styles and it mutated into arcade translations. Maybe it's time to just stay at home. How else will you be comfortable venturing into the underworld to save your pet frog? I got uh, a number of guests with us for this edition. Um, we have uh, PK once again, uh, Silent Night. Say hi. Not again. <laughs> let's 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 be real though. Those were Zubas they were wearing. <laughs> they just didn't have the graphics at the time to be animating all that. <laughs> a lot of gamers know know who the hell that really is. That's the old Karnoff. Who's that? It was an old Nintendo game. I don't know if they had it in the arcade, but Karnoff's been around in a couple games. He was the final boss in this uh, another Data East game that came out years later. Uh, Fighters History. Yeah, those bad dudes look like uh, break dancers, really. Yeah. Like, they, look like <laughs> they look like the white people yeah. force. <laughs> <laughs> Out the street, I'm trying to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit, the sewers. We'll, we'll take it to the sewers. Then.